Today, I am super excited because a brand new product has just been released. It's called Fluent Booking. This is a scheduling plugin for WordPress. This is super exciting because you can do bookings. You can also schedule webinars, appointments, sales calls, and so on. The question is, is this plugin really good? Is it easy to use? Is the UI brilliant? And how well does it integrate with other products? So in this video, I'm going to do a review of Fluent Booking. Let's start off by finding out how easy it is to install. So when you purchase it, you get your dashboard, which looks like this. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and purchased my license. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded. And all I have to do is to highlight my license key because I need to enter it when I install it. So now over here, all I have to do is to come to plugins, click on add new, and then we want to go to upload plugin choose file. Now I've downloaded mine in the downloads folder and here it is. I'm going to double click and click on install now. Next, we just need to activate the plugin and sure enough, it has been installed. So that's very, very easy to do. So now let's find out what the UI or the interface looks like. So when you install it, you see this entry here called Fluent Booking. And when you hover over it, we have your dashboard, calendars, bookings, availability, and settings. So the first thing you wanna do is to come over here to settings because you want to enter your license key. So all I have to do is to come over here right at the bottom, and then you want to enter your license key. Now I've really gone ahead and done that. Now, while we're on this page, this page here is, or this tab is very, very important because this is where you can come in and add your Stripe details in case you want to uh, sell your one-to-one -one consultation um, sessions. So this is where you add your Stripe. Now this is Twilio, you can do SMS. You can also add your Zoom information here. You can connect this with Zoom so that when people book on your website and it's a one-to-one -one session or it's a group session, it already integrates well with Zoom. Now we also have Google Calendar and Google Meet. And over here we have our team. So this is where you can start adding all your team members and adding them looks like it's very easy. Just click on this uh, blue button here and then you can search the host and select. So right now, this is just me, but I can add a team member this way. And then finally, we have our general settings here. So if I click on general settings, uh, this is where we can uh, we get to add our admin email address. We can come over here as well and add your from name. So let's say in this case, it's from Mac. So, so far, installing was very easy and the global settings page is very straightforward. Now let's take a look at the dashboard and how we can create our new calendar. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard. So I really like this because here I can see an overview of what is happening on Fluent Booking. So I have total one bookings here. I've uh, completed bookings zero. So what this dashboard shows us is you're booked, you're completed, and you're canceled, which is fantastic. Now, what are we going to do is we're going to go in and create a brand new booking. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my calendars. So next, you want to click here on new event type. So when I click on here, you notice that we have two options. There's one-to-one -one and there's also group. Now, I really like this because you have now the option of either doing one-to-one -one consultations or you can do it as a group. So for this one here, I'm just going to say one-to-one. -one. Now, let's see how easy it is to create our event. So here, we're going to say one-to-one. -one. Okay, let's call this one-to-one -one DV sessions. It's going to be 30 minutes and I'm just going to add a description here. I'm just going to enter, uh, enter some dummy text over here on the location. I can say online meeting. However, we have in person and we can also do it over the phone. So all this information will be sent to you once someone books, which is fantastic. So for this one here is online meeting. So here is where you want to add your link. So this is where your Zoom link or your Google um, Meet or uh, YouTube Live or whatever it is comes. So I'm just going to enter lorem2 and, pre and pretend that this is going to be the, the link. I'm going to hit update and pretty much that's about it. I can now hit continue. Okay, so now we have one-to-one -one DV sessions. Now for this actual event, we also have some more settings. So take a look here. We have our schedule settings. So I really like the fact that everything is in order of importance. So if you want to change your schedule settings here, you can just scroll down. And we can see here that these are the uh, the times, availability time. Now, at any point, if you want to edit these, you can just come over here to edit availability. So now we can delete 
some of the times that you don't want. If you want to be available on Friday, you can just go and add that. If you don't want to be available on Tuesday, you can just uh, uncheck it. Now here on the Friday, we can add our time. So let's say this is 1.30 to 2.15, for example. And then over here, we can also do some overrides. So let's say there's specific dates that you don't want to uh, attend to these one-to-one -one sessions. You can just click on add date override. Now you can just say maybe, for example, uh, on the 31st to the 4th, you don't want to be available and on any of those dates. So you can see here we have this uh, check mark, mark to unavailable, and then I'm gonna click on apply and hit save changes. So, so far we can go in, adjust the times when we, where we, uh, when we are available. So that's easy enough. Now, if you wanna see all the calendars, you can just click here on calendar. And these are the ones I created earlier on. But the cool thing is if you want to edit these calendars, just click on edit. And this takes you now into this area here. But the cool thing as well is if you want to delete them, you can just come over here on the three little dots. You can either disable, which means it's not available then, or you can come over here. And for this one here, we're going to hit delete. And then that just gets rid of it. So far, so good. And I like the fact that we have this button here where we can just turn on, turn on this event and pretty much it's back on. So the question now is, let's say you're using different types of page builders. Is it easy for us to uh, create our landing pages? So this is what we're gonna take a look at. So, so far I can see that if I go here on to share, we have three options. We have the short code, which pretty much works with any page builder. We also have landing page. Now this one here is very interesting because if I click here on landing page, I can actually view it. And this opens now in a new tab. So this is the link that you can share on social media or on your email links and so on. So this is pretty cool. You can see here the dates that I'm available and the dates that I'm not available. So let's say I want to choose the 30th. I can select my time here, 10 a.m. Click on next and I can say schedule meeting. In fact, let me just add my name here and then click on schedule meeting. So this is what the page looks like when someone wants to schedule a meeting with you. So if I click here on schedule meeting, pretty much I get an email confirmation and I can also see this in my dashboard. Very, very easy. So for this now, I can reschedule, I can cancel. But the really cool thing here on this page is I can add this to Google Calendar. I can also uh, use uh, Microsoft here. I can also download the uh, ICS as well for other calendars. So I really like the simplicity of this. So if you want to add to calendar, just click here on add Google Calendar. And pretty much here it is. I'm going to hit save. And now it's been added. Now we can also add this to the block. So I'm going to come over here. So this now is how you would add it if you're using Gutenberg. Very, very easy. So we're going to try this in a moment. But for now, I want to test and see how the shortcode works in Divi. So if I click here on share, I'm going to copy the shortcode like that. Now let's create a brand new page by coming over here, clicking on add new. Now I'm going to open this in a new tab so that it makes it easier for us to navigate this tutorial. So I added my page title and clicked on use Divi Builder. So for this, I'm just gonna say build from scratch. And then I'm gonna go in here and add it to the right. So for this, I'm gonna add a text module like that. And then over here now is where I'm gonna paste my short. So to add our image, I had to search for our image module and then choose the image. So I'll click there and then upload. Now after uploading our image, I had to insert it and then save the page. So with all that done, it's time now to view our page. And there we go. So we have our very, very easy to navigate booking calendar. If you wanna take a look at our bookings, what does that look like? So if I come over here to bookings, this should now show me pretty much everything that I have here regarding all my bookings. So at the moment here, I made two bookings. We can see here, this is October the 24th, and this is October the 30th. And we can see here that these are different ones. So if you click here on this tab, it shows all the completed ones, if they are completed, and then this will show you the latest ones, and this shows all. Now, I also like the fact that I can come over here and specify the type of events. I can search the bookings. So it's very, very easy to find, because once this is populated, you want to have a search feature. So they've really thought this through when it comes to really putting things where they're supposed to be. But let's say you want to create more advanced booking forms and also you want to somehow automate the whole process. Now let's start off by creating a more complex 
uh, booking form. So what Fluent Booking has done here is they have integrated Fluent Forms. Now, let me show you how that works. Now, I've already gone ahead and installed it, and here it is. So if I come over here and click on New Form, so at first glance, you don't see where the booking is, but it is right here. So to find it, you just want to search for uh, Booking, and here it is, Calendar Booking Field. I'm going to click on that, and straight away, you can see now that we have an option to go in and choose which booking calendar we need. So if I click on here, now you see that we have this option to select the calendar. So remember, I have Mac Consulting. I also have one-to-one -one DV sessions. So let's go with that. I'm gonna select it. So we also have an option here to set it as required. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now, this is time to go in and start adding all our uh, the rest of our input fields. So I'm gonna go for name because I need my name field. I'm gonna drag it to the top like that. Now, let's say I want to add an address field. I can just click here for my address. After adding all the form fields, it's time now to take a look and see what the form looks like. Now, I'm going to copy this short code. Now, for this, let's create a brand new page. So, I'm going to come over here. So, I'm just going to call this new page because this is very, very exciting because normally with our booking calendars, we just have basic fields. But with this now, we can have several fields with our form embedded. So I'm going to go with a single column here just to uh, show you how this works. I'm going to choose my text module here and just paste my short code just like that. So this short code here is from the forms and then save one more time and preview. Now look at that. Of course, this is not formatted very well, but I can add the first name. I can add the address, zip code, city and all that and still have my booking form. And this is the final submit button. So as you can see, we can collect more information about the event that we're trying to create, which makes this even more exciting. Now you cannot get this with, for example, Calendly. This is super powerful. Let's take this a step further and see how we can automate this with email. So again, I've gone ahead and installed Fluent CRM. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, Fluent CRM. I'm gonna go to my dashboard. So the first thing I want to create is a tag because I want to make sure everything is organized in my CRM. So I'm going to come over here to contacts, click on tags. So let's call this first one here, booked one-to-one. -one. Okay, let's call this booked one-to-one -one DV. I'm going to select that. So all I have to do now is to go to automations and create my automation. So over here on the top, you can see this is where we have our automations. I'm going to click on automations, create a new automation. So you notice now we have these three options. We have CRM, we have booking, we also have WordPress triggers. So with this now, I'm just going to say one to one and then click on new booking, click continue. So this is what's going to stop my trigger. So with this now, I have to now choose my calendar. So if I click on this drop down, I'm going to go to one to one DV sessions and then click on save settings. Now, do you see how easy this is? So when someone now uh, books, I can decide what I need to uh, do here. So the first thing I need to do is to add a tag. So I'm going to say uh, apply tag. Now, remember, we just created a tag. So let's call this tag is called booked one to one DV save settings. So let's say I want to send a custom email. I can just come over here, send custom email, and then I can just type, I can just type the contents of my email in here. And uh, let me add my email subject, paste it like that, and then pretty much say save settings. So once you're happy with the automation, all you have to do is change this from draft um, published. So what happens now is as soon as you get a new booking, you're going to apply a tag automatically and you're also going to send an email. But if you want to add a delay here, you can also add a delay, wait a few hours. So perhaps maybe you could say uh, wait um, maybe a day. But what I really like is Fluent Booking works really well with Fluent Forms because you can build complex forms. And it also works really well with Fluent CRM because you can do your automations, you can add people to mailing lists and so on after someone has completed the booking or after they've done the sessions with you. So it's a very good follow-up system, which means if you want to run a business, this is a complete system. Now let's take a look at pricing. So at the moment, there's a special offer because this has just been released and I have a link in the video description below, which has a 50% discount. Plus I also have some bonuses I'm giving away. If you purchase Fluent Booking with my affiliate link, I'm gonna give you access to diviuniversity.com lifetime membership, absolutely free, or you can choose 
funnels to income, and you can join that for free as well. But not only that, I'm also going to give you some templates which you can just pretty much install on your brand new website and you're up and running with a booking website. All right, so over here, if I click on buy now, we notice the pricing is $4.99. Now remember, these are lifetime licenses. So if you purchase this one here for $4.99, it means that you have 50 websites that you can create with this fluent booking. So you can make really a lot of money from this. If you really think about it, let's say you're creating these booking websites for clients, you can design maybe two or three and make your 499 back just like that. The rest is profit. And you don't even have to pay any extra. This is a lifetime deal. Okay, so the next one here is the 249. This is the five domain license. And then this one here is the single domain. A fluent CRM. I also have fluent support. And these products work really, really well. So I would highly recommend you go ahead and purchase this. Like I said, the link is in the video description below. So let's take a look now at uh, Calendly because this is the competitor or is... Fluent Booking, the competitor. I don't know which way you're going to do this, but Calendly does the same thing pretty much as Fluent Booking. But of course, Fluent Booking is superior because of the integrations and all that. So if we go here to the pricing, we notice right away that uh, we obviously we have this free one here, but it doesn't have a lot of features. So we have this $10, but this is per seat. So the more seats you have, it's going to cost more. Okay. And this is per month. There's no lifetime license. Over here, it's $16 per, per seat per month, and this is custom. You can talk to sales if you want to uh, work with that. But the thing is, it may look cheap right now off the bat, but the moment you start having more seats or you start having more people, this is where it gets more and more expensive. So the better option here is to just purchase the lifetime license, and this works on your domain, and you also have full access to all your customers, you can communicate with them, and all the data is pretty much on your own website. And I think this is very, very unique and it is really, really good. Okay, so now we've covered the uh, pricing. The next thing we need to take a look at is, is this mobile friendly once it's on your website? And I've tried that, it's definitely mobile friendly, which means people can do bookings from mobile phones and this will not distract them because it's not mobile friendly. It is really, really good. It looks great on mobile devices. The other thing as well is, does this make it slow on your website? Absolutely not. I'm actually using this now on Divi University and Funnels to Income. So I, I highly recommend Fluent Booking. It is a fantastic product. Of course, in the future, we may need other features like integrations and also more payment options because at the moment, we only have Stripe. But apart from that, this is a perfect product. And I'm really excited with this. If you want to make money online, this is another way to use this. So some use cases are if you want to do some online training, this would work really well. If you're a gym instructor and you want to control all your bookings, this works really well. If you're a dentist or, um, or if you provide any healthcare services, this booking works really, really well. So it has so many use cases and I can see this working great for entrepreneurs or anyone that wants to make money online. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.